it's Michelle Barada from Bella Branch TV and today I have an awesome DIY. I'm going to show you how to make a case, whether it's for makeup or it's a pencil case for school, whatever you want it to be. And it's no sew. Not one part of this do you use a sewing machine or a needle and thread. So I'm going to show you how to make this one that's very dimensional. I'm going to also show you how to make this one that's very cool also. Look at that one. And I'm even going to show you this one. Look how cool that one is, a heart. So let's get started. What we need for this project is fabric, scissors, duct tape, a stapler, a zipper, fabric tack glue, measuring tape, a ruler, and a pen. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take a 15 inch by 10 inch piece of fabric and lay it right side down and start putting duct tape strips one on top of the other all the way until you get to the bottom. Then flip over your fabric and trim the excess duct tape off. Now you're going to take your 9 inch zipper, flip, place it zipper side down on the edge of your fabric and staple all the way across. Be sure that you open up your zipper when you get close to the edge. Now take the other side of the zipper and pull it to the other side of your fabric and open the zipper a little bit first, then start stapling along the edge. By opening up the zipper, it gives you more space to staple. And then when you get close to that little zipper pull, pull that closed and continue stapling all the way across. Now center your zipper in the center of the fabric. Now staple close to the edge all the way across and do this on both sides. It's important to open your zipper almost all the way so that you'll be able to have room to flip your case inside out. Now you're going to press your hand in the corner of the bag and go up about an inch on the edge and staple across. Now I didn't use a pen, I kind of eyeballed it, but you could measure with a ruler and make a line for your staples. And then do this on each corner until you have all four corners done. Go in the corner, press it down, put your staple up there about an inch and staple across. Now trim each corner. And then you're going to take some more duct tape and you put the duct tape across each corner. Now it's time to flip it inside out. This is when you see the cool box style. So just use your fingers to push each corner out and to make it into that cute little box style. There you go. It's all done. Look at how cool that is amazing. No sewing whatsoever. Now you can add things like I put a little ribbon pull on my zipper uh, which made it easier to pull and it looks cute too. So I hope you had fun with this one. Now on to the next design. Next we have this cute little envelope style. You need a 10 by 15 inch piece of fabric and a 9 inch zipper. You're going to want to press your fabric to make sure it's nice and smooth. Then you're going to add your duct tape like you did on the last one all the way along the back, overlapping slightly until you get to the bottom. Then you flip it over and trim the excess duct tape off the edge. Put your zipper face, the zipper pulled down all the way to the edge of the fabric and you're going to staple all the way across. Next, you're going to pull your zipper over to the other side of the fabric and you're going to staple across the bottom just like you did on the first box style design. Now you're going to center your zipper where you want it to be. Do you want it on the corner? Do you want it in the middle? I picked kind of like a three quarters. And then you're going to staple along the side. 
This is an example of one that was uh, in the middle. I use a zipper pull in the middle. Now staple close to the edge all the way until you get to the other side. Be sure to open up your zipper so that you have more space for your stapler. After you've gotten this side done, you're going to flip it over and do it on the other side. Most important, make sure your zipper's open at least three quarters of the way because you're going to have to flip it inside out. Also, if you notice, I duct taped the corners so that there weren't any raw edges. Now we're flipping it inside out. Use your finger in each corner and it'll kind of be able to make it easier to get the corners to be more pointy. Now you can add trim, whatever you want. Now I forgot to show you guys how I added the pom-poms, but I used the fabric tack glue. I put that across, put my little string of pom-poms, let it dry for an hour, and it is there permanently. Now let's make the heart pouch. First take an eight and a half by 11 piece of white paper and fold it in half. And this is where you're going to make your heart shape. So you're going to draw half of a heart. And you're going to kind of loop the top and go down to the point. Now it's time to cut out your heart. Follow along the line that you drew, open up your heart pattern, and place it on two pieces of fabric. Then cut the hearts out. Place them on the center of your table and take duct tape and put it along the back side of the fabric. Flip it over, trim off the excess, and then take a straight edge and cut through the center of one of the hearts. Now take your zipper, zipper pull facing down, and staple it to the edge. Be sure to open up the zipper, it makes it easier to staple. And then continue stapling until you get to the zipper pull and then pull the zipper to the other side and continue stapling until you get to the end. Now take the fabric facing the fabric side down on the other side of the zipper and now you're going to staple along there. Flip it over and staple all the way across. And then open the zipper to make it easier to staple. Now you have your zipper in the center of a heart. Now flip it over because now we have to cover up the staples. Take little pieces of duct tape to hold down the zipper and then put a large piece of duct tape across the top. Now flip it over and you're going to trim off the excess, including the bottom of the zipper. Now take both hearts, right side fabric facing each other, and put them on top of each other and staple along the edge all the way around. Be sure to open your zipper so that you will have room to flip it inside out when you can when you finish stapling all the way around. In the center of the heart at the top where the V is, be generous with the staples to make sure that it's most secure at that point. Now take duct tape and you're going to cover each side where the staples are. One trick is because it's a it's round and not flat is you're going to have to fold over, take scissors and kind of snip over just like I did, flip open the duct tape and then close it. And just continue covering all the edges around your heart so that no staples are exposed. Now trim off any excess duct tape and now it's time to turn it inside out. Gently put your hand in the center, flip it inside out, and you will have your heart pouch. Then I added a little velvet ribbon on the pull to make it even cuter. Voila! It's done!
I hope you all loved this DIY. I loved it. It was so cool doing this, and I think this one was my favorite, the dimensional one. I love this one. I'm going to put makeup in it. And what I want you guys to do is I'm going to give mine away. So what I want you to do is I want you to subscribe and comment below and tell me why you need to get one of these. And then I want you to tell me which one you want. Do you want the dimensional one? Or do you want the heart one? Or do you want the little heart one that has pom-poms on it? So just put that in the comments and let me know. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye. First you're going to take your chain and you're going to measure it around your wrist. You're going to measure it so it's just snug there and then add one loop.